Even in this brutal digital world, the children of today still find solace in books. <laughs> Truly, the pen is mightier than the sword. Dude, did you hear that? Equip the pen! Okay! Nope, turns out the bazooka is mightier than the pen. And the sword. Hey, goodbye! Stop camping! Use old fire! Respawn! <gasps> what is this dazzling juxtaposition of sound and image? It's a video game. So these are the video games of which Mother warned me. How do they function? See this dude with the muscles of a bodybuilder and the haircut of a Korean pop star? It's me, and I have to blast these monsters over here to say... stuff? Here, try it. But is it not dangerous? Mother always says that video games can make one lose contact with reality, that they encourage louche behavior and violent tendencies, much like the rock and roll music, long hair, and vaccinations. Uh, no, they're just fun. Well, I uh, suppose there's no harm in trying it once. <laughs> in the name of science, of course. This is amazing! Ah! What was that all about? I didn't even make it past the loading screen. And this is why, as president of the Parents Association, I call for a total ban on all video games in Elmore. She's right. Look at what happened to Ocho since he started gaming. He doesn't look so bad. But here's what he used to look like. <laughs> Gaming's given my kids square eyes. Gaming gave my daughter a speech impediment. So we're all in agreement. <laughs> Not everyone. We are Mr. Dad and Mrs. Mom. He means Richard and Nicole Watterson. And we've found video games to be nothing but a positive influence on our children. This is ridiculous. Shh, I think I'm about to say something. Video games can be educational, teach puzzle solving skills, and help the growth of young imaginations. You two, stop this. Oh my goodness, my son Gumball has dressed up as me and attended the PTA meeting in an attempt to stop this ban. You're in big trouble, mister. Okay, Nicole. I think you should ground your son for a month. Fine, Gumball, you're grounded for a month. Uh, honey. You're right, dear, two months. But you also get a surprise pool party in your honor with pizza and... Don't push it, little man. Your plea has really made me think about things. Mostly that I should have locked that door. However, I admire your determination. I give you three chances to prove your argument that video games can be a force for good. Meeting adjourned. <sighs> It's a gavel. He wouldn't let me use it. You see, people often say that video games are antisocial and make you unhealthy. Well, just take a look at this family sharing some sporty fun together. What about that family? <laughs> They're playing together, which is all that matters. Now, safety first, dear little brother. Of course, dear big brother. The wrist strap. What was I thinking? <coughs> Sorry, no hand at the end of the wrist. Yeah. Come on, Anise! We can't lose to these slugs! This one doesn't look very healthy at all. Hey, this is the body of a world-class gamer. You're lucky we're not online right now, or I'd be saying things I'd never say to your face. Anise, take the shot! <coughs> oh, come on! Uh, now, now, Mother, it's only a game. <coughs> Switch to a nice fishing game. Well, they're fighting, so technically it's brought them closer together. Keep your claws off my car. Okay, now approved video games don't make kids lose contact with reality. Hey, Joe, what are you playing? Brickland. It's a game where you can build anything out of little bricks. Very good, Joe. A game encouraging creativity. Right now, I'm building a fireplace in my wooden house. <laughs> Oh, no. Not the goats. The goats are on fire! <laughs> that child has no idea what's real and what's not. Yes, but you don't know it was video games that made him that way. What else could have made him like that? Son, 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 stop with this tomfoolery. The fire isn't real. I'll show you what's real. Take this book. It is the key to your future. How? Look, books pave the road to your future. Come on, son, let's time travel. What? See you. Yes, I agree. Children should read books and not play silly games. 